Hi everybody, this is Angelo Quinones and Yuri Shine Ministries. Our ministries is designed to give you dependable and accurate answers that come straight from God's holy and inspired word, the Bible. The Bible, how Biblos, by the way, post by E. Everybody knows by now in my studies when you heard that, that means, um, well, after you heard that, I explain it, means how's it going. But I'll give you uh, another one, actually. The uh, canis. The canis. Okay, so the canis. Okay. Uh, spelled out like a T-I for the interrogative, you know, um, you know, how. Right, and then uh, Kanis is like K A N uh, E I S, so it's actually Kanis, Kanis. Okay, so uh, K A N E I S, basically. Okay, they love the E sound more than any other sound. I think the modern Greeks they like the E, they like the O, and I like the E. And I'll give you one after that before we get into the will of uh, Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Actually, to the chagrin of the JWs, okay? I'll give you the Greek word and all, and all that has to do with will, even the modern sense of it all. Um, yasas. Yasas, okay, means uh, hello in modern Greek. Yasas. It almost sounds like uh, Jesus, doesn't it? Jesus is actually Yasas in a formal way when you're meeting somebody for the first time or whatever your case may be when you don't really know the person. Yasu. Yasu. That's in a formal way for your buddies and pals because that's what they deserve. <laughs> okay. So Yasas means hello. Yasu means hello in an informal way. Okay. So uh, pospai means how's it going. Te canis means how are you specifically how are you and yasas and yasu means hello okay as <laughs> my daughter hi hi my love and a divine by the way praise god so let's read this from this uh, text okay um the will okay i could have i could have started off with a lot of texts but let me start off with these texts okay this is the main text uh matthew the gospel katamathion matthew chapter uh, 26 verse uh, 39 so let's get there okay it's a very long chapter incidentally um in uh chapter 27 it says that the the, uh, the bodies came uh, out of the tombs by the way okay you understand what i'm saying so, um, I don't know if that's the lady that I'm waiting for, actually, um, coming over, uh, actually, a lady that we have alone with, so I'm going to have to pause it if it's her, okay? My wife is sleeping, by the way, so I'm going to have to wake her up if it's her. And it says over here, and he went a little beyond, okay, I think that's a genitive of measure, but, uh, but we'll, we'll check that out. And he went a little beyond okay, them, meaning the three disciples that he took with him, and uh, fell on his face. Okay, let me, uh, okay, sorry about that, guys. And panim in Hebrew would be face. And fell to his face. Prasopanim, probably in Greek. We're going to see the Greek. Fell, uh, fell uh, on his face, it says over here, and prayed. Okay. Saying, and that's probably Lagon, we'll check out everything. My father, and that's Patras probably, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet, not as I will, but as you will. Okay? Not as I will, but as you will. Now, end quote. Now, to the chagrin of the witnesses, Jesus has a will. Well, he doesn't have his own will. Well, yes, he does. He has a will here, and he has a will in several places in the Bible. Okay, so let me just read this again. It's quite clear that Jesus has a will. Okay, distinct from the Father's will, actually. And this is why I let off uh, this passage with this text. Verse 39 of chapter 26 of the Gospel Kata Matthayan, according to uh, Matthew, quote, And he, meaning Jesus, went a little beyond them meaning the disciples and fell on his face and prayed saying my father 
if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Yet not as I will. Okay, we、we'll、see the Greek word, but as you will. Okay, you will probably uh uh, uh thales there, but we'll we'll check it out. We'll check out the the construction. Okay. All right. Now, so that's one text. Okay. So let's get to that text before we、uh, read. Well, since we're here, let's just go、uh, a couple of chapters. Not a couple of chapters, but quite a bit. Let's go to chapter eight over here of this gospel. Okay. So since we're here, we'll look at the English first. It's not the standard, though. I mean, the Greek is the standard. Let's just face it, guys. The, the Greek and the Hebrew, and Ar- throw in Aramaic. Okay. Even Egyptian. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I think there's an Egyptian word for horse in the Book of Genesis, but Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek are the standard. Okay, it's not the other way around. The King James Version is not the standard. Okay, it's not the ruler over、uh, the Greek. It's the other way around. You understand what I'm saying? But anyway, we should all know that by now. Let's look at this story over here. It says over here when、uh, Jesus, Jesus, okay, in the Greek, came down. Uh, from the mount, remember he was giving、uh, the sermon, the sermon on the mount. From the mountain, large crowds follow him, followed him.、Uh, verse two, and a leopard, okay, and a leopard came to him and bowed down before him. Now listen, this version, along with the NIV, does say that Jesus was worshipped or that he should be worshipped. Okay, incidentally. The 1954, okay,、uh, J.W. Ledger, Watchtower Ledger said previously, okay, originally, okay, that Jesus Jesus should be worshipped. They only changed it in the 1960s and the 1990s. They done away with it altogether. But they initially, according to their charter, okay, the 1954 charter of the Watchtower and Bible Tract Society said that Jesus. Should be worshipped. Now you can't say the light is getting brighter and brighter because if the, he, he shouldn't be worshipped, well, it was darkness, according to them. So how can the light get brighter and brighter if it wasn't even true? So if the light is, is getting brighter and brighter, well, it was light and he could be worshipped. Okay. All right. This is the this is the thing about the JWs, the so-called Jehovah's Witnesses. They make a mistake and it's a cop out. I hate to say the word cop because I have police officers in my family. You know, not a lot, but I do have some. Uh, and、um, you know, and so I hate to say cop out, but what I'm trying to say is that、um, that's a, 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 a poor layman's excuse, okay,、uh, to say, well, the light is getting brighter and brighter. I could predict, meaning Angelo, me Angelo, I could say, well, Jesus is coming back tomorrow, and if he doesn't come back tomorrow, I say, well, he came back invisibly. Come on, it's, it's garbage, though. Okay, you understand? That's just an excuse. It、says over here, and a leopard、uh, came、uh, to him, meaning to Jesus. Okay, sorry about that, guys. It、uh, came to uh, uh, him and bowed down. Okay, before him. Incidentally, the King James only group will complain at this point,、uh, saying, "Well, it doesn't say worship. The KJV has worship. The KJV is a wonderful Bible. It's not the standard, guys. It's not a perfect. It's not a perfect、uh, biblos. You understand what I'm saying? It's not." Has several mistakes in the King James. I mean, Jesus dying before he went to the cross is a big one in Acts chapter five verse thirty. Easter in it in chapter twelve of the same book. Okay, Holy Spirit being missing in, ch- in chapter four verse twenty five of the same book. Okay, a, a contradiction in the same book. <laughs> Actually, here pastors. Okay, they heard the voice at verse seven,、uh, chapter nine, and then they didn't hear the voice according to chapter twenty two verse nine. KJ、uh, KJV translators not applying their understanding. Okay, according to the、um, accusative case construction of limitation as to extent, there not that they didn't hear the voice; it's a contradiction. They didn't understand the voice, and this version, along with the NIV and probably other versions of the Bible, gets it right. It's not that they didn't hear the voice; they didn't understand the voice. Okay, incidentally, Jesus is found and recorded more in the NIV by count of one thousand two hundred and forty-one to a small, minuscule micro number of nine hundred and seventy-one times. Two hundred and seventy times more than the NIV has Jesus. Okay, guys, even though according to Mounts, is found and recorded nine hundred and seventeen times in the Greek New Testament. Well, let's get back into this. Okay, before、uh, so they have the action of worship. There's nothing wrong with that, as long as you have that Jesus was worshipped and you use that word. They do, in other verses of the Bible. We're not going to get into that now, but they do have it. Okay. 
Incidentally, the NIV and the NASV has Jesus being God more than the KJV. Okay? By 33% or whatever the case may be. I mean, that's too much. And bow down before him. Hi, my love. Bow down before him, meaning before Jesus. And said, okay, Lord, if you are willing, if you are willing, not the Father, even though he was willing, okay, I understand that. But if you are willing, okay, you can make me clean. Now check this out. This is what Jesus said. Check this out. Jesus, uh, the nominative case construction for Jesus, okay, subject nominative right here. Jesus, okay, stretched out his hand and touched him. And he touched the leopard saying, let go on, let go on. I am willing be cleansed. And immediately, okay, his leprosy was cleansed. Uh, what about the baby, honey? What's wrong? Oh, okay, okay. All right, so it's so Anna Devane moaning and groaning. She's probably thirsty, and then, uh, and, uh, and uh, my wife is going to make milk for the baby now. Okay, so Jesus has a will over here. Now, the, the, the will of, of Jesus in the garden, meaning um, that he wanted the cup to pass from him, was distinct from the will of the Father. Let's get, since we, we have this near us, okay, Matthew chapter 8, verse uh, uh, 3, actually, where you can see the will of Jesus. Let's check that out in the Greek over here, okay? Let's use this one first. Okay, um, so Matthew right here. Love. Lovey. And so uh, let's go to chapter 8, which will be chapter 8, uh, okay, over here. Now they just call it, you know. Okay, so, uh, so this is the deal. So let's go, go to verse 3 over here. It's very hot here in the Philippines, guys. Let me see over here. Mommy's milky, 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 my love. Milky, milky. Uh, it says over here, um, let me see. It says in. Okay, so this is it right here. I just wanted to make sure. Okay, it says over here, Kai. Ek. Te ectenas, ectenas ten gera, and that's the plural word for hand there, gera. Okay, spelled out chi, epsilon, iota, rho, alpha. Okay, epsata, epsata, autu, his hand, meaning his hand, autu, aha, Jesus. Okay, so he's the subject of the sentence, even though the subject is way past the beginning of the sentence here. Saying legon, and that's in the and that's in the uh, a participial that's in uh, that's a participle that's in the participial construction the omega and the new pointing that out legon saying okay uh, lambda epsilon gamma omega nu now they called me saying telo telo I will now remember that Greek word for the witnesses guys theta now they called theta but who cares epsilon with the acute marker lambda I sometimes pronounced lambda omega okay. Telo, I will. That's my will. Uh, another translation for this is, I wish. Okay, will. Wish. I, my intent, uh, to, to intend, to a uh, desire. You understand what I'm saying? Those are all possible translations over here. It says, okay, I will. Very, very nicely done by this uh, committee here of the NASB. Telo. T-H-E-L-O in English or theta, epsilon with the cube marker. So it's the. And then lambda, omega. Incidentally, omega wasn't the last uh, 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 letter of the Greek alphabet. Uh, it was actually parakisma. It has something to do with pregnancy. So it was dropped off. Okay, Not because of that, but I'm just saying it was, it was uh, not probably because of that, but it was dropped off anyway. Thela, or actually thelo, I will. Katharis fete or T actually. And okay, you theos, you theos, e katharis fe auto. Okay, he uh, lepra. Actually, that's a that's a feminine uh, word. Uh, 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 leopard. 
uh, uh, lepra. Okay? Now, the only word I want you to remember here is the Greek word thelo. Thelo. And actually, that's a T-H-E-L-O if you want to mark it down. Or in Greek, theta, epsilon, lambda, omega. I will. He has a will. You understand what I'm saying? He has a will. Now, let's go to the one recorded, okay, in, um, since we're here in the Greek, in chapter 26. Now, that will be chapter um, kappa, actually, um, actually, kappa, and uh, let me see over here. As my, my wife flushes the toilet over here. <laughs> okay, thanks, thanks. That's nice for the recording. <laughs> I'm recording, hon. So you flush, you flush the toilet in my, my recording. Okay, I have to edit that, now, guys, you know, in the future. <laughs> Come on. So anyway, um, so... <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, she says. That's okay. Apology accepted, hon. So let's go to verse 39, okay? Verse 39 of, uh, of, <laughs> of Matthew. We need a little humor, guys, sometimes, you know, that's just... Maybe I'll keep it in the, in the recording. Um, let me see over here. Well, incidentally, you know something, getting to it, you know, not a lot of people have flushing toilets here in the Philippines. I think we're the only one here. I don't know if we're the only one to have that here, hon, that one. I don't know. Maybe I'll ask her later. It says over here, Kai uh, pra el phone. Okay. Mikran, and Mikran is little, Mikran epi, epicen, okay, uh, oh, epicen, uh, epi, okay, prasopan, and that's face, okay, prasopan, in case it's case construction, okay, bow down, okay, uh, auto, Bow down his face. You, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, press. And this is the word for worship, okay? Prasuchamenas. Prasuchamenas. And bow down or worship. And legon saying, okay, pater. And that's in the, um, and that's in the, um, in the uh, nominative construction, okay, pater, uh, my father, mu, so pater, mu, okay, uh, pater, mu, and it says over here, e dunatan, if it's, if it's, if it's um, possible, and this is, if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's, if it's uh, if this is an option, if this is if this is if it's possible, but but dunatan dunatan is a very strong word, okay. Uh, este is okay. Para el feto up, okay. Emu from me, okay. From me, okay. The pate the paterian, paterian. Uh, this, uh, tuta, that's an adjective there, tuta, from hutas. Plain, it says over here, uch, not, okay, chos, as, okay, as. Ego, thelo, I will. Ego, ego, thelo. Not as I, Greek word ego, will, thelo. Okay, strong word there coming up, al. Okay, alpha, lambda, lambda, but the alpha was dropped off because of the omega coming in the next word. Okay. As, hos, okay, as you. Um, and you can put the word uh, will there for the father. We, all, we, already know that he, we already know that he has a will. Su, and that's from su, su, so I said, and that's in the uh, accusative case singular construction. As you will. Not as I will, but as you. And so it's over there. You know what I'm saying? That's in verse 39. So you see that, that, that Jesus has a will. Okay, he says, ego thelo. And we saw thelo there in the Greek construction of, of the same book in Matthew chapter 8, verse 3. Now we see that he has a will also in verse 39 of chapter 26. 
Okay. Now, um, also see Jesus coming to do the will of the Father in verse uh, 7 of chapter 10 of Hebrews. Let's check that out. And we're going to check out that the Holy Spirit has a will in the same book of Hebrews. Now we'll check that out soon. Let's go to Hebrews. Okay, so you saw that, that Jesus has a will. Egothelo. Not as, ugh, not as I will. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? So he has a will, but you. May your will be done. So he was distinguishing his will from the Father's. And that's telling me that each of them has a will. W-I-L-L. -L. Not that I will do something, but that he had volition. He had volition to, to choose. And being the being second Adam, well, there you go. He was actually victor, okay, um, in the Garden of Gethsemane. Well, you see, Adam in Hebrew says Adam. In English it says Adam also, but Anthropos actually in, uh, in the Greek Septuagint. He wasn't victor. He wasn't a victor over the temptation Okay, in the garden that he was placed in so many thousands of years uh, before at Christ. And I was Christ tempted? I, I don't know if he was tempted in the garden there. Okay, but he was victor or Nike over, okay, the temptation. Or in the temptation he was victor, but Adam wasn't. Is that what I'm saying? So the first Adam fell into temptation and the second Adam though but nevertheless the second Adam was victor over the temptation that he was um, gripped with so again let's, since, we're, since, since we're here let's just read these again okay in, in English it says over here Jesus uh, stretched out his chera, his hands, the alpha is making that plural in, in, in Greek, and touched him, meaning he touched the leopard, saying, let go, I am willing, telo, be cleansed. And immediately, not three weeks from then, immediately his leprosy was cleansed. That's one. And let's go very quickly, if we can. And remind ourselves of this uh, verse that we saw, that verse that we saw previously. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? In, in chapter 26 of the same gospel. So you have two of them at your disposal against the witnesses. To either reach them or defeat them. You can do either or. Jesus did that. He defeated the so-called witnesses in chapter 23 of this book. The Pharisees, Sadducees, and scribes, and then, but he reached a uh, certain people like Nicodemus and the woman at the well in John chapter three and four, respectively. You understand know what I mean? So we can do both also by his power. And it says over here, now is she uh, is she's ready to be burp on? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, you hear his voice with that music? My God, you're pretty good. Says over here, and he went a little beyond them, beyond beyond the disciples, and um, fell on his face, fell on his face, and prayed, saying, "My Father, if it is, um, it, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will." the will of the Son, but as you will, the will of the Father. Incidentally, let me say something is quite clear from this text and from the text of John chapter 18, okay, around, around verses of 4, 5, 6, etc. The enemies of the Lord fall backwards. Okay? The Son of God fell forward on his face to the ground. That's a food for thought. So if you go to these so-called revivals and you see people falling back, well, they're the enemies of God. Even if they're lying, if they, even if they're not even falling back, if they're just pretending, well, they're stupid, okay, rebels without a cause, because the thing is, the enemies of, of Yahweh, Yahweh actually, or whatever the case may be, fall backwards. Okay? I did a, a separate study on that, full Greek construction, of John chapter 18, verses 4, 5, and 6, proving the ech yek saying of Jesus in that text. Why didn't he use ego emiho on there and in uh, chapter 8 
uh, and verse 58 of the same book of uh, John's uh, uh, writing? Well, because he probably used the Hebrew, ach yech, which is much more powerful. Okay? All right, now let's look. Okay, um, let me just pause here and burp my baby guys real quick, okay? Let me just uh, pause here real quickly.